standing on a broken field White crippled wings feeding the sky The harbingers of war with the nature revealed And our chances flowing by If I can let the memory heal I will
White crippled wings feeding the sky The harbingers of war with the nature revealed And our chances flowing by If I can let the memory heal I will remember you with me on that field Je retourne. Je le colme. Qu'est-ce que ça va être 
Qu'est-ce que ça va être Alors... Et si ça vient de sortir Salut Dido C'est les enquêtes. C'est Pierre Belmara. Une angoisse. Et oui, ça va. Ça va, je sais pas comment. Mais... Euh, trois heures de sommeil. J'ai une voiture ce matin comme ça. Ah non, comme ça. Parce qu'il était sur place. Et du coup, euh, ouais, coup de barre euh, début d'après-midi. On était sur le PC, donc... Euh, le poste c'était mieux. Je fais du convoiturage, je, je, je pense qu'elle avait peur de pas de, 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 de pas à destination. Euh, oui, Sherlock Holmes, c'est de l'enquête. J'avais fait Crime et Punishment, qui était très bien. Et que ça n'avait pas plu. Mais oui, c'était très bien quand même. Et là, on va faire le nouveau, Chapter One. Alors, c'est un Sherlock euh, qui, 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 qui est tout jeune. Ça n'a pas l'air mal. Il a, apparemment, il y a un monde de la plus ouvert. Voilà. Alors, il est où Il est là. Là. Je n'ai pas eu le temps. J'ai pas eu le temps. La optimisation. Je n'ai pas trop vu. J'espère que ça n'a pas merdé. Ça a l'air plutôt joli. Ah oh, mais ça contient une forme de discrimination raciale, ethnique et sexuelle. La musique c'est mystérieux, c'est hypnotique. Ah il y a une carte, donc ça va être grand. Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. Bon français, mais... Bon 
c'est plutôt joli. Hein. C'est pas courant. Oh, comment ça bouge dans les fesses d'histoire. Hein. Ça, ça... c'est pas des queues. Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. D'accord. Oh. Je suis sûr d'avoir eu du français, moi. Oh, ce bordel. Il faut s'enregistrer à la réception. Ta face est en français. C'est moi qui ai mal compris. Alors, il veut me parler, John. Comment on lui parle, John Ça paraît photo. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Okay. C'est pas mal, hein? C'est bien foutu, hein? Pour les oranges. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. Il fait pas très italien, lui, quand même, non? If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. Oula, l'erreur. L'erreur fatale. Et bim. Et ouais, il faut pas rester comme ça. Et là, et re bim. Ah, il a... Oh, la statue est jolie. Hein. Oh, vache. Ah, ah. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? Papier. There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I... I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Donc ça s'appelle John Watson. Je suis pas sûr que Watson s'appelle John. Il faut que je trouve ma ma pure là. Ah, c'est John, ok. 
Misty, j'ai rien encore. Ah ouais. Il y a un petit côté euh, Tokyo Hotel. Ouais, petite bite. Ah mais oui, petite bite. Ah oui. Bacchus would find this place incredibly dull, don't you think? I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. <laughs> A medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me. Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. We do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. Come now, Sherry, what did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Bacchus would find this place incredibly dull, don't you think? Ah là là, c'est l'hiver, hein? <rire> je sais plus ce que je dois faire. Ok. Il lance dans le hall. Ok. The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. That's all. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Mais dis-toi, Uncle Ben, dis-toi. Il est où le bar? Ça si, le vestiaire. Que bordel. Hop. D'accord. Deuxième map, mais pas d'intérieur. D'accord. Ben, 
Ja, na bując. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well then, you can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. No matter how long you stare at the stick, it's not going to walk itself to its owner. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Your room is upstairs, sir. Number 221. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow, perhaps the Fielding family or meadows, or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for and bears the scars of numerous hits. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right, I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Quand je vais parler, 
D'accord. Ok. Ok. Il a essayé de parler à lui. T'as côté. Pardon, monsieur. But I am not in the mood to talk. Do you know anything about this? Friend, you're lucky there is something I know about this. Ah. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the Kane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Il est très compétissant, ça me donne le trait de caractère de chacun. Ok. Ça va plus. Non, mais c'était secrète. Not that one, huh? You lost the bet, Sherry. But don't let that stop your search for the Navy officer. J'ai pas compris. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. May I ask you something? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Je sais pas du tout, moi. En sérieux. Are you able to help me? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Is this familiar to you? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking, about what and dressed as what? Can I ask you a question? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. May I ask you something? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. You obviously haven't thought this all through, or are you just... Je ne ce qui est passé, quoi. Oh là là. Je 
peux aller dans ma chambre, mais non, c'est bon. C'est pas clair leur truc quand même. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. Hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey boy, that's my cane! I get that a lot, it's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Oops, sorry. Okay. Les indices sur lui. Ah, ici, la cravate. Ah, oui, ça correspond. Simple deduction. Okay. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr... Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud a, or a, a bubble. bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me and Emma fainted. I lit the candle and the diamond was gone. En fait, il, il a participé à une séance de, de spiritisme en gros. Et on a volé son diamant. Et ça parle beaucoup. Ouais. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a séance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? 
To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. Okay, let's keep running and see. Okay, so that's the rival of the zone of investigation. D'accord. Ça, c'est quoi ça? This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. sur 5 This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. C'est terrible ce truc. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. Ok, là c'est fait. Là, attends, on va relancer un peu. Il y a un miroir là. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a séance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. Qu'est-ce qu'on a? On lui parle à lui, à lui, à lui. Ok. Là, il y a une chaise. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. On va essayer de parler au mec. Hein. Là, il y a un crâne. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. This is the place where the man has the ability. It's not possible. It's the medium. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. 
as if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him, please? Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. C'est plus de problème mental. Soucis ensuite des amis réunis pour faire beaucoup de vos déductions. Problème mental. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. Choisissez votre affaire actuelle. Sélectionnez un indice, combinez votre indice, votre décode en carnet, effectuez une déduction. Ah, d'accord. Ok. Sure. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. Mm -hmm. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Size four with a broken heel. Size four with a broken heel. Ok. 
le bordel. C'est compliqué quand même. Je pense que je vais me partir là-bas. C'est euh... Pas pour la chaussure, mais... Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. Pas domestique. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... Sûr, elle a disparu. No, what a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. This reminds me of the fairy tale, Sherry. Will you find your princess? Oh yes, I can tell you everything, sir. Alors, nous c'est fait. Comment pas réussir à que les choses soient bien, que pour tout travailler de bien, actuellement, s'occuper de nettoyage à l'étage près du tableau de la galerie. Ok. Do you know anything about this? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Are you able to help me? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. D'accord. Se permet. Ah. Là, j'ai quelque chose. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss... Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I 
Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. My name is Sherlock. My name. Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or a, a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did you? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost, a sickly, evil thing. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Voilà, femme de ménage. Euh, T'es pas positionné comme ça, si? de fenêtre. Voilà. Le médium, je crois qu'il était là. Là. Là, oui. Là, on est bien. Euh... It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Ça serait elle qui aurait le diamant. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Is this familiar to you? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Ah, 
вижу. Lady Craven is not who Craven is not who she sees. I guess we'll have to try again. Remember to focus only on what's relevant to the room. Lady Craven is not who she's. Twisted me. No. Wait. No. No. Yes. At last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please, help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici, the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, 
Well, that <laughs> is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Only an hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Someone was not happy with his post. Someone was not happy with his post. Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Aha, uh -huh. a neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Well, a bit papillon, a bit papillon. Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Virtus or Dr. Sapit, courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. The mystery deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. A remarkably simple lock. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. Mm. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. 
These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Ça, ça Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Mm. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. <laughs> Je sais peut-être. Euh, ouais. C'est compliqué le truc. Hein. Ok. 
Ok, ça va, d'accord. Ah, ça m'a mis le truc. Lucas, c'est le... le, le, le médium. Salut, Nabil. Ah, en compte déduction. Ouais, ça se tient. chambre médium ça va pas être simple ça bon, je vais faire pour... do something about it Holmes I I did not do it, you know that. Ça, on l'a fait déjà. Parce que j'ai dit c'est dit ça. serait la réception. Voilà. Ben voilà. La réception. La réception, c'est là. Euh... Espérons qu'il veuille bien me donner la clé. Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the séance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Je peux passer par la direct ou par la chambre, je sais pas. Yes. On est un décision. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or, or weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time there's enough for analysis. The gossip. So? Je sais ce que c'est, liquide. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ce truc Je vais 
Alors, en fait, c'est deux réactifs. Ah, d'accord, dedans. Ok. Alors, donc, c'est celui-là. C'est un texte phosphore. Ok. My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure this spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Je ne descendrai pas plus bas, il faut pas rêver. Mais comme une nutrition probable. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I'm not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I in fact, I did hear noises. 
That craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh, well, at least I can make the dead talk. The spirits are silent, and so am I. The spirits are silent, and so am I. Ils parlent pas non plus. <laughs> the spirits are silent. And so am I. Sorry, that's beyond my expertise. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the... I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Sorry, that's beyond my expertise. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? Like it. It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence! Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewellery. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. What? Toujours là ou Dito Dito, euh, peut-être pas bah, choisi le monstre, ça m'a peut-être pas suivi. Moi je pense que c'est le médium était de mèche avec la, la maîtresse. Ah, ça sent les moufles. Eh oui, eh oui. Ah, il fait froid, hein. Je pense que le, le fou médium, c'est un fou médium, il était mèche avec la maîtresse. Parce que lui, il avait la broche papillon et elle avait la bague. Je pense que c'est ça la preuve. Donc on traduit du cas en justice. Hein. Le médium, on, 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 on l'accuse. aussi pense à tout aussi
Was ist das noch? Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh... <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. Ah, you love me. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Ha. Yes. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes, I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink, all I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Murder is murder, Luca. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you, in this life or the next. Get your hands off me. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. C'est une affaire avant de m'abonner. C'est bien passé. Ah, c'est pas mal. Hein. Ce genre aussi, c'est sûr, c'est pas surexcité. C'est calme, c'est c'est pas mal foutu. Des fois un peu complexe, quand même. Pas un peu complexe. Faut choper le coup, quoi. That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm, I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. 
Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Ouais, c'est bon. Après, peut-être que les indicates sont pas toutes vues à mon niveau. Mais c'est vrai que. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. Sweet Okay. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye job. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. Ouais, c'est quand même pas mal foutu, donc comparé à Crime et Punishment du dernier sorti, euh, dernières sorties, c'était très très cloisonné. Là, y a, tu, tu bouges quand même un petit peu. C'est pas mal foutu, donc je, je trouve qu'il est pas mal. Me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Ça va pas être une nouvelle affaire. Si je pense. Ah.
En fait, t'as pas beaucoup d'indications quand même. Il y en a un, mais si on tient un enfant. Euh... Ah, bon, je tirais là, mais je peux pas rentrer. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. C'est ici. Comment augmente la durée de vie d'un soft Là, tu donnes pas d'indication en fait. Ici en fait, hein. bon, Wanted to remember Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you.
tombe. La tombe de, la tombe de la mère de Sherlock. Ouais, on est au cimetière. Et ça dit que le, la tombe, elle est... Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon. A pocket watch. It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be?
c'est de... Ah, quelque chose... Hein. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. Could you help me? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Okay. May I ask for your assistance? Why should I care about your troubles when you don't care about mine? Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? I don't know if the others are going to have to do it. Can you satisfy my curiosity? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Help me, please. I clearly have nothing to do with what you are asking of me. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Could you help me? No one listens to us, so why should I listen to you, Oofbird? Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Excuse me, just one question. His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. C'est compliqué là. Could you help me? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. You were about to tell me to make a model of Tyre, but let me assure you, I do not care. Hmm. Ah, that looks going to be very impressive. Come on then, the trail continues ahead. Mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. It's stained with oil paint. A portable easel was kept there. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. An artist working in a cemetery? Do you think he'd paint my portrait? Le tableau là-bas, ça je l'ai vu. Il y a un. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Be nice, Sherry. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. 
the hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. Does your gallery feature more than just portraiture? Oh, of course! We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces too. I am sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. Then you have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I am sure we'll find them. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even mm. in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Okay, I need to switch out. Are you alright, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. He's odd, Sherry. Even odder than I. Qu'est-ce que je fais là sur sur cette histoire? Je suis là pour ça. Donc il faut que j'aille comme ça. Est-ce que je vais pouvoir sortir Parce que là j'ai pas de... J'ai rien du tout. J'ai pas assez de pièces. Oh. 
pas y aller. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes? What is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. But why the archives? Won't that stall everyone's work? You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief, and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Où est-ce que ça va être C'est une volonté. J'ai 
progresso. Ça a besoin de te dire encore qui du voleur qui a comme le de Madame Nini. Euh, tu se trouve à l'intersection de Knight Road et Trinity Way. Knight Road et Trinity Way. Est-ce que l'indio C'est ça Knight Road et Trinity Way. Ouais, Knight Road, je l'ai. Ok, c'est une transition ici. Tu peux rien ici. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop, at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Oh no, he's all wrong. You look nothing like him. What is wrong exactly? Why everything. He had glasses and bruises and... Were you listening to me at all? Ça passe. Il est comme ça. On voit ce qui, ce qui va ou ce qui va pas. 
He did wear glasses, but not like those. His were angular <laughs> and evil looking. All right, I'll try another pair. It's a bien good unit. Ça devrait le faire, je pense que je suis pas mal. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Moustache. Like a moustache. Yes, the kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear moustaches, but I get your point, Marla. Ok. Ok, il y a un moustache. Oh putain. No, those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right, I've got it. Costume beige. Oh, I'm Ah, it's you! I mean, it's him! It's him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Let's do. Let's go and see what's going on. Wait. Let's see what this changes. Tes vêtements, certaines personnes seront plus enclin à te parler. D'accord. C'est bon, ça va, ça. Déguiser, c'est pas mal. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh? Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Stop. Euh, cette connexion. C'est 
chef. J'arrive à trouver les archives. Voilà, ça c'est fait. Je l'ai fait déjà. Il à chaque fois, il faut s'adapter. Actuellement. Ok. Le truc, c'est...
Il y a stick de jambon aussi. Euh, un chèque de pulse. Je vais regarder aussi qu'on est. Un escaladio. Donc, euh, je comprends pas là. C'est précis. Je 
Das stimmt nicht. So. Sorry, I'm busy now. son atelier lui là. Je vais essayer de me faire accompagner dans une cavèche. Est-ce qu'il est un patron de temps Ça, c'est pas une assez là. Je ne serai pas dans le meilleur. Ce truc. Ah oui, docteur, on a un autre. Si j'ai bien compris. Voilà. Ok. J'ai rien appris chez les flics, je vous comprends. Extra, extra. Look at what you've done. Criminal Luca Galici, posing as a medium, confessed to the strangulation of a noble woman. The finest clothes for the, the finest clothes for the finest citizens. Ça c'est le bonhomme couché.
C'est pas mal fait quand même. Hein. Pas loin, moi. Je pense que c'était là, moi. Par là, si. C'est ici, tout ça. Que tu ici en fait C'est rire. C'est pas indiqué toute la galerie mais y a rien. Simply the best garments on the island. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pas tenu. Les peintres ici. dans ce jeu c'est par la, par la main ça te doit trouver après c'est assez agréable d'être un monde ouvert je trouve qu'il qu y a quand même des qualités euh, de grosses qualités dans le genre je pense que c'est bien sympa ça manque de un peu d'action un peu un peu, un peu...
Ouais, bon, ok. Bon, mais je crois que j'ai fait le tour pour ce soir. Euh... C'était euh... pas mal du tout. Pas mal du tout. À tester une fois en stream. Euh... Je regarde vite fait quand même parce que... Moi j'avais eu la clé. Euh... Je regarde quand même sur Steam. Hein. Comment éditer ce petit jeu Parce que, à mon avis, euh... ouais, il est pas mal. Ah, ouais, mais il est, il est chéro le, le jeu, quand même. Hein. Euh, je l'ai où Il est quand même à. Il y a 45 balles quand même. Le Sherlock, le Sherlock Holmes, hein. Ouais, ça manque un peu de rythme. Il y a des chronos pour mon idée. T'as pas trop idée. Qu'est-ce qu'ils sont tournés comme qu'on vie dessus Très positif. Non, il est bien. Non, il est sympa. Mais c'est... Mode de rythme. Je m'ennuie un peu. Mais sinon, les graphismes, c'est top. La map ouverte, c'est top. Euh... Ah, il est 45. Ah, oui, il est cher. Qui c'est qui fait ce jeu Frogware. L'investigation était facile, mais cette mission personnelle qui vous a brûlé ici, vous savez que ce n'est rien que la peine et la madness. Ah oui. oui c'est pour ça que je, je l'aurais pas acheté. J'ai la clé, mais je l'aurais pas acheté sinon. Pas ce prix en tout cas. Il a pris une bonne note. Il a pris une bonne note partout. Hein. Bien les avis. Ah ben, si tu précommandais, t'avais créé plus puni je pense le premier, celui d'avant. Ah ouais, le saison de passe, t'as des cartes en plus. Ok. Ah ouais, quand même, tout simplement le meilleur chef frog, frog ouvert. Hein. Ah, pas grave, moi je suis d'accord. Des 4 secondes là. Je suis assez d'accord avec euh, la vie. Alors, si je dis plus à la lettre Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes même, on a connu, on en perd assez vite l'envie de continuer. La ouais, traduction à faire seulement en sous-titre, ce qui contribue à perdre le fil du jeu. Euh... Peut-être qu'il faut le couper pas 50 euros. Ouais. Ça vous d'accord. Le, les avis sont quand même. Ouais, c'est ça. Par rapport aux autres, le monde est ouvert. Parce que dans les autres Sherlock Holmes, que j'avais bien aimé moi aussi, euh, c'est des scènes en fait. Dans des zones fermées. Non, là, il y a un avis négatif, qu'est-ce qu'il dit Alors clipping, j'en ai pas eu, j'en ai pas eu là que des petits, tout petits, à un moment donné. Optimise les bourses, non peut-être pas quand même. Ah 
Après, le fait de te perdre comme ça, oui, ça, je suis d'accord. Pas d'audio français, ben ouais, mais les mecs... Les mecs, quoi, ils ont pas de trop de fr fr à faire, quoi. Non, c'est vrai que c'est... Pour l'immersion, c'est moins bon. Mais quand même, quand même. C'était pas mal. Il y a surveillé en, en réduit, peut-être qu'on aura peut-être euh, gratuit un jour sur Epic. Qui sait C'est le truc de celui d'avant, je l'ai vu sur Epic. Donc, je suis si d'un temps, il sort sur Epic, pourquoi pas Comme gratos. Ça peut plaire même à château, je pense. Parce qu'elle avait l'air assez emballée. C'est quand même pas mal. Allez, on va dire que c'est pas mal. Je suis pas mignon. Euh, demain on part sur euh, sur ETS on va rouler un petit peu parce que c'est bien j'ai bien écouté la radio c'est le petit stream tranquille ça me fait une pause <rire> puis voilà on a fini une heure, une heure du matin c'est à peu près ce que, ce que je comptais faire à, à mon nouvel emploi du temps euh, Dito, passe une bonne journée. La pizza Francis. Pense à lui. Et, euh, et puis on se retrouve demain. Passe une bonne journée. Hein. Passe une bonne journée. Puis on se, on se retrouve demain soir. Hein. Ouais, c'est la radio. Ouais. Peut-être qu'on aura du monde. Je pense qu'on aura du monde. Peut-être Fred ou euh, parce que oui, il est passé hier pour nous demander pour le test, donc je pense qu'on on va s'amuser. Ah, mais écoute, hein. écoute, un espoir que jour, euh, je pourrais converser avec lui en off, parce qu'il n'y a plus le temps qu'on en parle. Ciao, Dino, à demain pour le test. Bonne nuit. <rire>